पिका पराल पुरा इधर में ये की गर्जन करी क्या सिला स्ट्रोंगर स्पेस फीलिंग का सत्य उस दिन मुझे कैसा लगा था फियासा सब उठा रहा है कोई आप बोपा आजा सत्य इस पुरुष रे एमटी बेहेन तला like a vicious snake that consumes what comes in its path cyclone free tour through 14 districts of odisha on 3rd may 2019 it was a terrific disaster i have never experienced in my life its intensity and time duration extended far beyond filin hodun and tikli leaving behind the massive trail of destruction and plunging several towns and villages in complete darkness categorized as an extremely severe cyclone with wind speeds up to 200 kilometers per hour the warnings for phony came 3 days before it was to make landfall in puri after failing hurhur and tithli Phony was the fourth cyclone to hit the coastal state in five years. All departments of the state government, public and private entities, and civilians moved with urgency to prepare for yet another storm. All precautions have been taken for cyclone Phony for people to be evacuated. State Energy Secretary Hemant Sharma. began preparations by reviewing stock positions along with key functionaries of the distribution companies with special attention on the towns of Puri, Khurda and Ganjam which were likely to be worst hit. Emergency restoration system or ERS tower materials were transported to Puri a day before landfall. We mobilized some material some manpower emergency restoration systems and we did a broad planning based on our expectation that what is the likely damage senior officials of power psus were deployed at all probable affected districts for close supervision and 500 gangs of 10 workmen each along with necessary materials were deployed in the section offices Three control rooms were also set up at the main offices of Odisha Power Transmission Corporation Limited (SESU) and the Energy Department. Each unit was to ensure that power supply had to be disconnected when the wind speed touched 50 kilometers per hour to avoid any loss. This cyclone day, we arrested 249 gangs comprising about 2,500 peoples, and they have been advised to be at the all the structures so that he once. the cyclone will over we will start our restoration work an eerie call after the storm a calm soon to make way for chaos with most communication lines devastated information from several districts especially worst hit puri bhubaneswar katak khurda kendrapura and jagatsingpur was in complete disarray This turned out to be a major hindrance in the power restoration process, especially in the first three to four days. Puri town and Puri district, where landfall happened, has suffered huge damages. Energy infrastructure has been completely destroyed. Restoration of electricity is a challenging task. More than 1600 kilometers of high tension lines were completely damaged along with several power transformers. Nine important grid substations were affected due to complete damage of 54 220 kV towers and 33 132 kV towers with partial damage to the transmission and distribution infrastructure. This resulted in transmission system damages worth 91 crore rupees. But this was far lesser in comparison to what the distribution system suffered. 
a whopping 1,100 crore rupees, including damages worth 924 crores of Sesu alone. 275 33 kV feeders and 1,579 11 kV feeders were hit, keeping in dark more than 33 lakh consumers. 1.5 lakh poles were uprooted, which needed replacement rather than repair. We were expecting some damage, but we were not expecting as ferocious a storm as Fani. And in terms of geographical and time spread, we were not expecting this kind of a disaster. With no electricity for days, drinking water supply dried up. Phone batteries died. ATM machines ran out of cash. Life came to a complete standstill. This working women's hostel is now left with just a few residents as most of the women have gone back to their villages and hometowns. The ones who have stayed back are contemplating a similar move. Soon after the cyclone moved beyond Rhodesia, Chief Minister Naveen Patnayak held a review meeting with senior officials of the state, including Energy Secretary Hemant Sharma. A well chalked out plan was developed and divided in three categories man, material, and machine. Director HRD R.K. Sinapati was entrusted to look after mobilization of manpower. We mobilized two trains, two train loads of people from Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar. All the fabricators who are available in our power system, we had to mobilize them at a very short notice. Priority was given to restore power at essential public services like hospitals, water supply plants and telecommunication installations. Three major transmission lines connecting Puri, Chandokan Nimapara and Nimapara Puri were strategically chosen to restore first as they suffered lesser damage than the other towers. Nine new towers were constructed at the Chandoka Nimapara line and six emergency towers were set up in the Puri Nimapara line. Lot of efforts they get to go to the line go came into one third to give a line Nimapada Puri restoration Koriba Pain Japolagi. I'm a Prothamamo Javanat Mahaprungo line as was Rimondre Tabetito Trasanga Sanga Puri was single line. The struggle was hardest in Puri and Pobaneshwar due to the enormity of the devastation. Sir, I made those dinelani suino, Boloki Kainu, Boloki Gadino. What a Kamto Chalra, who bought to Pasina Nekalra. More than 7,000 workers were engaged for early restoration along with several engineers and technicians from the unaffected districts. PGCIL and NTPC also extended support by deploying their workmen gangs and technical experts. About 6,000 people came from neighboring states. All were mobilized by our Honorable Chief Minister. He was talking to Prime Minister through which we were able to get those 1 lakh poles from Durgapur steel plant rolled overnight. Then he was giving us kind of a moral and psychological support, uh, guiding us, telling us that we know that you are working hard and don't compromise on safety. Take care of the people who have come who are working day and night. And as you know, Puri is totally devastated. Nothing you get there. So we opened uh, two base camps. One is our uh, Puri Green itself, another is Nimapada. So the, the Puri base itself, we used to cook for uh, around uh, 12 to 1300 people every day. The Nima, but also another 2,000 people who used to cook food. Working through gusty winds and rain, and now extreme heat, the past few weeks have been tough for the workers. For power line installers and repairers, the job wasn't just challenging, but risky too. 
The energy department confirmed that they lost three people during the cyclone. Uh, the most difficult part of the job was 132 kV river crossing in Mahanadi. There is a tower inside river Mahanadi on the outskirts of Katak. We there in water for four hours, five hours at a stretch and then were erecting the tower. This is a site which I cannot forget in my life. Cyclone Phoney was the worst summer storm to hit India in 43 years. The challenges faced by the energy department were bigger than any before. While many deadlines have been met, there are a few still being worked on. The damage was so high, even we never expected that so quickly we can restore Puri town. But we have restored it because of the able leadership and we got all support from top level. On 15th of May at 5 p.m. I was there when the first lights were switched on in Puri town. You know, on the expressions of people, people were so happy in, in, on the Bada Dando. Really, I thought that yes, and we, we have done something for people. I was very happy to see you in the line. I was very happy to see you in the line. I was very happy to see you in the line. I was very happy to see you in the line. I was very happy Within one month of Phoney's devastation, 100% power supply was restored in Puri and Pupaneshwar and other affected districts. A feat that can be achieved only with proper planning, strategy and dedication of thousands of electricians and workers. And the public can't thank them enough. <laughs> I am very happy to be here. I am very happy to be here. I am very happy to be here.